Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Wasn't that awesome? Baby or Stitch Man, the cover version. But wait, but wait, there's more. Let's roll it again. Baby, you're a Stitch Man. Baby, you're a Stitch Man. Baby, you're a Stitch Man too. It's a trend. It's a new trend. Two people counts as a trend, right? I'm counting two people as a trend. It's a new trend. Who wants in on the new trend? Who wants to sing my theme song for me? We could have a whole compilation of cover versions. Who's in? Who's next? Jacob, grab your ukulele. Your stitch man needs his ego stroked. <laughs> that was Kaylee from Kaylee Cross Stitch and Tony, the stubborn stitcher, singing my theme song. Thank you to both of you. I got really excited when I heard that. It was fantastic. Now the rest of you need to join in. <laughs> I am I am wound up and hyper already this morning. I don't even know what's going on. I haven't even had coffee yet. And I barely slept last night. Maybe that's why. Maybe I'm just overtired. I feel like I'm still hyped up from watching Noah's video last night. Has anybody watched? Has everybody watched? Not anybody. Everybody. Have you watched Noah's new video yet? It's an hour and a half long epic and it is a wild ride. I told him it might be my favorite floss tube that I ever watched. It was just... It was just like, it was up, it was down. It was, there was laughing, there was crying. There was like, I was howling. I don't, I don't howl with laughter out loud too often when I'm sitting all by myself, even when I find something really funny. But I did watch Noah's video. It was great. Um, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Um, whichever, whichever number this is, I'm not sure, but it's noteworthy in that like, I'm starting to repeat my wardrobe. I wore this shirt in one of my earlier videos and now I've done enough videos that I'm cycling back through my wardrobe and I'm gonna start having to repeat stuff. So I guess that's how long I've been here. That's exciting, isn't it? No, not at all, nobody, nobody cares. It's been three weeks since I sat here filming my normal floss tube instead of my usual two weeks. I could have done it after two weeks. There's a couple reasons why I didn't. One of them was because even though I finished my big heaven and earth, stay tuned for that. I get to see, get to see it. I know I posted pictures on Instagram, but it's different when you see me lean back in my chair and hold it up, isn't it? Isn't that different? <laughs> Oh, after I finished that, I could have just made a video after that, but I kind of wanted another week or so to do more stuff and show more whips. <laughs> like I just crashed. I went from up here to down here. I am done. I don't know. <laughs> Is this the end? I might have to do this another day now. I'm tired. I hope everybody's had a good few weeks. I've had three really good weeks. I got a lot done. I got a lot of stitching done. I got a lot of non-stitching stuff done. I did a lot of things with some people. I... I got my first dose of the vaccine. I got my first vaccine shot. <laughs> they asked me which arm I wanted to put in because we weren't sure like if it was gonna make my arm sore. Do I need to use my left arm? Do I need to use my right arm? And I was like, arm, arm? What are you putting it in my arm for? I want it straight to the heart, Pulp Fiction style. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I did try to pretend that my arm hurt or that I was tired or that I had some like, I need, I, need, I need a day in bed. I need a day in bed to like, just relax and stitch or whatever. Melissa wasn't buying it. She just called me a pansy. So, and she was right. I, it, it was a little itchy. <laughs> I think my arm's a little itchy, but <laughs> that was it. There was, there was nothing. It's fine. One sort of noteworthy thing that happened to me in the last couple of weeks, at least I think maybe this isn't noteworthy at all. And it's not stitching related at all. Sorry to the people that like to, are just here for the stitchings and don't don't care about the, the human being aspect. <laughs> Here's one or two minutes of like human and then I'll get, I'll get, I'll get to the stitching stuff. Um, There's an evening a couple of weeks ago, I hear this banging on my door. Nobody ever comes to my door. <laughs> I've, got, I've got keep out signs all over the place. Like, I don't want anybody here. Who'd be banging on my door? And I looked out the window and there's, two police officers standing there and I'm like of course my my first instinct is like they they got me like what and sort of running through all the things in my head like what did I do what did what they what they get me for this time I'm like what do you mean what they get me for this what what did I do this time I didn't do anything I've never done anything this can't be because of me so after like 10 seconds of panic I went and answered the door and there's two intimidating looking officer standing there and they, and they say to me um good evening sir is duke here <laughs> it's like what 
Duke, is Duke here in this house? And I was like, Duke, you, you mean my cat? <laughs> Are you looking for my cat? Duke, what have you done? <laughs> Duke, they found you, run, run! I didn't kill my wife! Apparently, my neighbor saw a sketchy looking guy, <laughs> whatever that means, sketchy looking guy, wearing a trench coat or like in his boxer shorts or something, I have no idea. But um, digging around underneath my car, trying to shoo a cat out and then grabbed the cat when it ran out and took off with it. <laughs> and she thought, she thought it was Duke. She said it was a cat that looked just like Duke and I thought somebody stole Duke. So she called the police <laughs> and the police came and just to check up on Duke to make sure that Duke was okay and then and found the guy and like questioned him about like what 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 are you stealing cats for or like it was probably honestly it was probably just the guy's cat they like hey come on come home cat why are you under my neighbor's car because it, it wasn't Duke Duke was at home just chilling out <laughs> but anyway I thought I, I was I I don't have too many run-ins with the police let alone police that are here questioning my cat so that was my that was my one exciting thing that happened in the last couple of weeks. Duke almost got caught, but it wasn't Duke. There was a cat burglar, an actual cat burglar in my yard. Cat burglars, I thought, just stole like household things. I didn't think they stole actual cats. Here's Duke right here. Duke doesn't get as much love and attention in my videos as Maple, my princess Maple does. Duke kind of gets the, the short end of the stick, but Duke's a good cat too. I love Duke. Here's Duke right here. Duke was featured only in one of my videos before really briefly at the end of one of them and it's my one with the least amount of views so most most people always just ask about where's maple how's maple but i got duke too duke's a good boy <laughs> that one video that duke appeared in is uh, i'm only mentioning this because a lot of people ask still ask sometimes about like things that i've done before or like you know past projects i have a video where i i toured my mom's house and went through start to finish as from as early as i could find up until present day of all of my previous finishes, and uh, that's that's the one that that's the one that Duke is in at the very end. Uh, not as many people have watched that one, but here I guess shout out to myself. I'll give myself a shout out. <laughs> Go back through my archives and find the one with the the tour of my mom's house if you want to see all of my lifetime of previous finishes. Shout out to me. <laughs> Speaking of shout outs, somebody mentioned in one of my comments, I think that like they said they said something along the lines of hey i feel like coffee stitcher is getting the short end of the stick here because you're constantly going on about jacob this and noah that and jacob 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 noah 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 and what about coffee stitcher and it, it made me think i yeah <laughs> you're right i have i have no i have no answer to that you're you're right because i love i love garrett and we've never We've never spoken. We've never messaged. We've never, I'm not sure that either one of us knows that we know the other one, except I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that again, like, you know, one of those things where somebody asks, hey, give me a list of your favorite floss tubers and some people will tag people that they watch or whatever. Pretty sure Garrett tagged me because I, I remember thinking, ah, he watches me and I watch him too. We watch each other, even though we never speak. <laughs> Let's speak. I'll be, I, I, I like making new friends. Garrett seems like a nice guy. Garrett, you want to be friends? Let's be friends. You watch mine, I watch yours. We're already kind of friends. <laughs> One other person that I meant to talk about like a month ago and I and I didn't and you you've all you all know by now. Like I'm I'm a little late mentioning her. Um but Trixie Tricycle, Jody. Her name's Jody and her channel is called Trixie Tricycle. Um you, you you're all watching. I'm pretty sure you're all watching her by now. Betsy went on this campaign <laughs> apparently because every time I every time I hear uh shout out mentioned, the person mentions Betsy messaged me and told me you need to watch this person, which is exactly what she did to me. So I feel like Betsy just like went on this like campaign to just like, everybody needs to start watching Trixie Tricycle. And 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 I think it worked because <laughs> it, it seems like we're all watching her. This is what like, um, this is what I imagine a, a few months ago when everybody was talking about me. <laughs> this is what I imagine you guys must have felt like because in every video that I watch now, it's, you gotta watch Trixie Tricycle. You gotta watch Trixie, Trixie Tricycle. I get it. I get it. We gotta watch Jody. I get it. <laughs> she really is. She really is great, though. You, you really. If, if you're not watching her, which I highly doubt, I'm sure you are. But if you're not, you should go check her out. She's great. And feel free to keep talking about me too. <laughs> 
Well, I guess we've wasted enough time. <laughs> Might as well get into the whips. I'm sure you all know, if you're following me on, following me on Instagram, <laughs> the, that I finished my big princess, Heaven and Earth. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm shuffling. <laughs> I'll save that one for the end because I, I have the most to say about that one. And, you know, best for last kind of thing. When I, as soon as I finished that, the very next day, I was just, because it was so, it was, it was the, the, all the colors I was, I, I was, all the colors I was, can I just, can I just start over? <laughs> can I just start over? <laughs> After I finished my Princess Heaven and Earth, all the colors that I was working on were really dark, mostly dark blue and black. There's a little bit of also like dark green in there, but just dark, dark, dark colors. So as soon as I finished it, I was just dying for something more vibrant. So I immediately picked up my Sunflower Cottage stitch along because I was desperate for some color. <laughs> so, oh, great. It's been so long, it's been so long since I've done this. <laughs> Do I have a thing where I, sh I have where I was last time? I must. Where was I last time? Here's where I was with Sunflower two weeks ago. I'm dying for some color right now because I've been doing nothing but dark blue and black for the last few weeks. So. Maybe I worked on this one. Did I do anything? And here's where I am now. Look at it, isn't it pretty? <laughs> I filled in this whole section here and it's not its not just blue sky and hearts anymore. I got a little hint here of the the leafy flowery things that are gonna appear over here. Isn't it, isn't it awesome? I was so happy to get back to color and vibrant things even in here there's way more confetti in here than it probably looks like but i didn't care because <laughs> i was doing green and i was doing purple and i was doing blue and like i was just so happy <laughs> i was so happy to get back to it so this is about like half a page or a little bit more than half a page now that it's all filled in i'll just continue on down here and get it going i'm really overwhelmed by the amount of people that are working on this <laughs> like with the the stitch long where's the hashtag give me the little ding in the hashtag there it is. <laughs> you can follow along on Instagram. You can follow everybody's progress. If you're working on it, use the hashtag and then we can all follow each other and see where everybody's at. People are just plowing through this. Some people are like half done right now. It's like, it's, it's unbelievable how fast people are, or maybe that's not fast. I don't know. When did this start? Maybe, maybe I'm just really slow. I don't know, <laughs> but, but I'm, ex I'm excited to be working on it. I'm excited people are working on it at the same time. It's like, I love it. I just, I, I, I love this. I, I can't even, I can't even put into words how happy I am to be working on this after staring at it for 10 years. And look at this. Do you notice the needle minder? I know other people have showed this in their videos too, but I can't really, it doesn't really focus very well. Maybe it does. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> um, Crafty Emily, who also has an awesome floss tube channel that I'll link below, made these needle minders specifically for this stitch along which is like, that's, that's awesome. It's, it's touching. It's like, <laughs> it's, it, it says, it says sunflower cottage style right on it. It's got the sunflower. It's like, it was made just for this. It's like, I don't know. I can't really describe how it feels to me. Like staring at this thing for like since 2011 or 2010 and like wanting some reason to do it and having no reason to do it. And then whining about it in one of my videos. And now like dozens of people throughout the world are doing it with me. It's really exciting. <laughs> Aren't you excited? Come on. <laughs> Second whip that I made a decent amount of progress on is this big guy right here. Meow, 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 meow. Where was I last time? Let's look. Here's what Chessie looked like two weeks ago. Can't even see him anymore. I gotta fill some of this in. I miss him. Gotta see the rest of his, gotta see the rest of his face. Did I start working on him again? Did I finish Princess and start working on him? Did I, did I, did I? And here's where Chessie is. Uh, today, not a like crazy significant amount of progress, but kinda. It was like I had two two rows of like, I don't know, 15 or 1600 stitches or whatever it is done. And now I have double that. <laughs> so I did about 15 or 1600 more stitches. Um, got the, the tip of his ear right here and this blue i don't know I've like what like if you if you don't know the picture that kind of looks like what the hell is that but it's because his head is lower than the rest of his body his head's down like you know as cats do <laughs> he's my my cat impression head down hump up <laughs> so that's the like head down here and the hump of his back up here because he's crouched so um not like a crazy amount of like spectacular progress but enough that like now i'm hitting his body and ear so that 
in in the next couple of weeks, I feel like there there will be significant cat progress here. <laughs> I know it is not easy for me to just talk off the top of my head. Here's what I wrote down that I wanted to, to say. Here's a, a whole list of notes here. What did I want to say about Chessy? Here's what I wrote right here. Chessy. <laughs> Chessy. <laughs> That's what I wrote. <laughs> Thanks, me. Thanks for all the preparation. Chessy. Isn't he pretty? <laughs> Isn't he? Oh, here, here. I can talk about this, though. Um, Chessy Needleminder. Check that out. Another gift from Crafty Emily. Send it along with the Sunflower Needleminder. She sent this, too. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. I am just so... I'm so, like moved for lack of a better word that like people are like not only taking the time and effort to send me nice things but like specific to like i know you're working on chessy so i sent you this cheshire cat needle minder like that the, the, like that level of thought and thoughtfulness is like leaves me kind of speechless i need to reciprocate this a little bit have i sent anything to anybody i don't think so <laughs> i'm such an asshole <laughs> so anyway in the next couple of weeks, I hope to get, I like my, my, my habit lately has been to just go straight, do it like a hundred square blocks like I normally do and just go all the way straight across. But I started doing for some things like three or four at a time and then going down and then like, or even just half and half, like down this way and then down this way. And I know it's the same amount of stitches, but it feels mentally, it feels faster and that I'm making more progress when I do it that way that like I don't have to go all the way across and I see more of his eye or whatever I don't know it just seems it feels like I'm making more pro progress faster so I might do that because I want to see the rest of his eye and the more of his face and you know faster than I would get to it if I'm going across this way but we'll see we'll see I'm definitely I'm definitely going to work on this in the next couple of weeks I'm definitely going to make significant progress mark my words that means it's not going to happen now that I've said it. But it is. It is going to happen. I, I'm not, I might not finish this whole page in the next couple of weeks, but maybe. I don't know. Because now that I'm back into this, this is this is my go-to. I, I love Chessie. I'm getting right into the blue. I'm getting right into the full-on cat. I'm excited to be working on this one. I can't wait to make more progress. And one last thing that I worked on since last we spoke. <gasps> my huge princess is finished! Isn't that exciting? <laughs> it is. It is really exciting. And I know that um, I said last time that I might do a stitch along so that we can like finish it together and have like that kind of a moment. And I, I talked about this in the actual stitch along that I did a few days ago that like it was one o'clock in the morning when I finished it. I, I actually did start to film the, the stitch along, but everybody was home. Everybody was asleep. I was self-conscious about like how quiet it was and how loud I was talking and blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to finish it. So um, but I did film the last little bit of me actually finishing it so I could maybe edit it into here if anybody cares about that. So here's the moment where it actually was finished. If anybody wants to see that, roll it! Okay, so I'm sitting here in my living room at 1 a.m. on Monday, May 17th. I've got my princess on my lap, I've got my celebratory beer beside me, and I've got three count them one two three stitches left to go so let's do this let's finish it last one i can already taste the beer that's it that's it it's done there it is the end. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna put this down. I'll unfold it and show it to you when I film my video. I'm not doing it right now. But for now, grab a drink, grab a drink. Let's have a beer together. This is the beer that I was drinking when I started working on this princess. And this is the beer that I'm gonna drink when I finish it. The pride of Nova Scotia. It says so right there. Okay, stop talking, let's drink. And here she is in all her glory. <laughs> Look at her, look at it. Oh, am I gonna have to, am I gonna have to stand up? <laughs> am I actually gonna have to stand up out of my seat? Let me see. We start here. 
We go all the way up here. All right, all right, I'll get up. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Look how big she is. <laughs> I don't know if you can really get a sense of how big she is, like, from here, but I'm, I'm big. <laughs> you can compare her to me. I'm a real big, tall guy. Look how big. <laughs> That's it. That's all you get. Don't ever ask me to get out of my chair again. <laughs> here she is. I can't even see to see what I'm showing you right now, so I hope you can see something. There's the bottom. There's the top. And that was everything in between. She's all finished. And I did I did have a moment of sadness after I finished it. I messaged Betsy within the first like 10 minutes about like, I just finished my thing and I'm real sad. And she probably told me like, ah, just go take a dump. You'll feel better or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I got over that pretty quickly because I'm, I'm glad it's done. I'm super excited to have this finished, to not have it be a whip anymore, to not feel the obligation to it when I'm working on my other things. I feel guilty that I'm not working on this. I should be finishing it, blah, 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 blah. All my other whips are kind of all equals now. I don't really feel like any obligation to any certain one over another one. None of them are like for a Christmas present or anything like that. So we can, I can just relax now. I can just relax. Wouldn't that be great to just relax? <laughs> I went through my archives because I keep, I kept saying that like I started this in like spring or summer of 2012 and I've been working on it for of like basically full, full nine years now. So I went through my archives to see exactly if I could tell when I started it and determined that I started it November 18th, 2012, which really surprised me. This is why eyewitness testimony is unreliable because I would have sworn that it was summer or even spring, but photographic evidence, photographic evidence suggests otherwise. Here's a picture of me on November 18th, 2012, holding up the blank piece of Ada that I was using to start it. So I'm going to assume that I started it on that day. So there was November 18th, 2012, and I finished it May 17th, 2021. <laughs> Finally, never worked on anything that long in my life. <laughs> oh, not that it was like, it didn't need to take that long. I didn't work on it like all the time for eight and a half years. I did like all my other whips, my John Lennon, my other things that are hanging on my wall, my presents I gave to my mom. I did a bunch of stuff in between. But to have it started in 2012 and finished in 2021, like, thank goodness I still like it. <laughs> that was a huge, that was a huge stress for me when I started working on it. If this takes me 10 years, am I going to like it in 10 years? Am I going to wish that I hadn't done it? Thank goodness I still like it. And I'm really glad that it's finished. Look, now I can just like do what with it? <laughs> roll it up and throw it in the closet? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not going to roll her up and put her in the closet. I mean, maybe that might happen for a little bit, but uh, I've, I've done, I, I don't want to do that. Like, you know, I did that with which one? Maybe I can put in a thing here. This one right here. Um, when I finished that, I rolled it up and kept it in my closet for too long, like months at least. <laughs> it was just, and then, and then one day it just hit me like, you put this much time and in, in work into this. Why? What? Like, just, okay, I know it's expensive to frame stuff, but like, fuck it. Like, why did you do this if you're just going to roll it up and hide it away? So like, I, I don't want, I don't want to do that this time, but I don't know how much, like I've got a place that does really good framing. Hey, like I haven't, I haven't been there <laughs> since before COVID. I haven't been there since 2018 was the last time I finished anything. Um, so hopefully they're still in business. Fingers crossed. But they do really good work. They do really good framing and they do it for a really good... Sorry, I just keep holding her up. I'm just wondering. <laughs> before, before I shove you away, give me a hug. <laughs> oh, they do really good framing. They do really good stuff and they do it like a really reasonable price. Like they're they're pretty cheap for, for what you get. But cheap, like <laughs> something this big <laughs> is going to be... I'm still, I'm expecting even like quote unquote cheap is still not going to be all that cheap. So I don't know, I might... I might take it there. Hopefully they're still there. <laughs> see how much, like get a quote or something. How much do you think this is going to be? And see if I'm going to like, if I can do it right away or if I need to like shove her in the closet for a bit while I save my pennies. Like, I don't know. The other kids, the kids don't need to eat, do they? They can go a month without food. <laughs> like, isn't this more important? <laughs> I think this is more important. <laughs> but anyway, now that's the, that's the next thing. Now that it's finished, it needs to be fully finished. So we'll see how long that takes or how fast I can get that done. First 
First might come a bath though. I might need to give her a bath. <laughs> I'm still really scared about that all the times I've talked about it and all the times that you've all reassured me that it's fine. I'm still really scared to do it, but I feel like it needs it. Cause even though I don't really notice on the actual stitched, part, so I'm just, I'm, 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 an, I'm a mess today. <laughs> I don't really notice on the actual stitched part if I look at it. To me, it doesn't look dirty, it looks fine. This is why I've never washed anything, it looks fine. But it's it's really dirty. The actual Ada is dirty. The part that I stitched over like right here was dirty while I was stitching it. It was really dirty. So it, it must be dirty. So I don't know, I've got a lot of advice. I've got a lot of reassurance. I've got even some good like links to some of you have, have actually watched things in your videos and like, here's how you do it. And I've, I've bookmarked some of those so I can like, so I can maybe do it, maybe. If I do it, I'll probably film myself doing it or at least film myself hyperventilating and then chickening out, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. For now, princess is finished. Take one last look because until she's in a frame or in the bathtub, you're not gonna see her again. As for what I'm gonna do next, now that the big princess is finished, um, I'm not, I, I, I wanna take a little bit of a break before I decide on like another big one of that size anyway, because my, my instinct is, this one right here, I've told this story before, but when I, hang on, <laughs> I had to walk to my bedroom to get this out of my drawer and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> Such a long walk down the hallway, give me a minute. <laughs> so I've told this story before, so I'll try to make it brief, that when I started that big princess, it was a toss up between, I only, I, I, was, a, I was a one at a time stitcher. So like what you, the, your answer is probably gonna be, why didn't you just start both? But I just didn't, that wasn't what I did. I just, that wouldn't have occurred to me to start both. So I, I had to narrow it down to two, princess or this really big one. Those were, it was gonna be one or the other. I chose princess and I, this one has been sitting for 10 years in my to-do pile. <laughs> um, so this is still, after all these years and after all the debate and all the other things that I have purchased, this is still pretty near the top, if not the top of my choices. I've, if I'm gonna start a really big one again, which one to do? Because I still love this and I still, but I, I just wanna make sure that I'm not doing it because of that like guilt and obligation that I often feel about things. Because this was the first pattern of this like it was the first heaven and earth i ever bought i didn't even know that heaven and earth was a thing until i bought this this is how i discovered hey i wonder if they have more i bought this with the intention of doing this and this was the only one i had and after all these years i still haven't done it so i do really love it and i do think it would look spectacular when it's finished but i just want to before i dive in and start doing it i want to make sure I really actually want to be doing it and I'm not just doing it because like, well, it was my original one. I almost did it and now I feel like as if it has like human feelings or something. Like I'm gonna hurt its feelings if I don't do it now. I said that it was gonna be one or the other so I did the other one, now I should do this one. Like, I, I feel that way. I projected those kind of emotions onto this piece of paper. <laughs> um, so I just wanna make sure and actually think about it that that's not the reason that I'm doing it. I wanna do it because I actually wanna do it because this is probably gonna take me another eight to 10 years once I start it. I might be, I might be 50 years old sitting here going, look at me, I just finished my house because that's what 50 year olds are like, right? <laughs> Your teeth fall out at 50, I don't know. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on starting a brand new, like a brand new big one. Uh, until then, as far as like an actual whip goes, I do have, I've decided, I've decided, I've made a decision and it's happening. This one right here that kind of got shelved and put on the back burner. I've got more than half of this finished already. Um, I haven't made any actual progress on it to speak of yet, but I put it back in my new favorite eight by 11 Q snap. I've got the beer needle minder that my friend Alyssa Jones so kindly sent me. So it's all ready to go. Um, I'm gonna get my colors, my chaos colors organized in probably floss away bags and get this, get, I'm gonna get this going again. This is gonna be, this is gonna be my, my whip that replaces princess. So it's still the same amount of, it's not like a, like, like a new overwhelming amount of like whatever. It's still, it's the same amount of whips I had before. 
this one just gets put back in, which I'm excited about because I love this one. It just always seems to get pushed to the bottom whenever I'm like working on stuff. But I, I love this one. I'm excited to get back to it. And I've made so much progress on it already. I'm, I'm excited to get it finished. Like, look, this tree branch thingy right here. That's, that's this right here. I'm all the way, I started at the top and I'm all the way down here already. Might as well get it done, right? Might as well get it done. One other thing that happened in the last couple of weeks that I wanted to mention, kind of stitching related, kind of parenting related, kind of not either one of those things, <laughs> but that I thought was, it was either noteworthy or it was a fluke, but it was um, Dylan one afternoon, one rainy, lazy afternoon, Dylan was watching Toy Story for the millionth time. <laughs> he loves Woody. <laughs> um, and I was sitting there watching with him and it occurred to me that like, look at, look at, he's a big, he's a big kid now. Like he's not like a little crawling around getting into everything baby like he used to be. He's, he's sitting there paying attention and he's being quiet and he's like, he's watching the movie. So it occurred to me that like, hey, <laughs> I wonder as long as we're both just sitting here, I wonder if I could whip out my stitching and get some stitching done. <laughs> And I did. <laughs> I this is this was noteworthy because it's the first time since he was born in 2018 that I have been able to stitch while he is awake. Not only awake, but in the room with me and not getting into my stuff and not getting into other stuff and like we are just existing in the same room together and he's doing his thing and I'm doing my thing. It was like it was exciting. <laughs> It was also really sad, <laughs> like, is he growing up this fast that I'm able to do this right now? Like, it might have just been a one-time thing, but I've never been able to do that before. So that might be the, like, the first little hinting of the dawning of a new era of being able to stitch or leave my stuff around or, like, not worry that he's going to eat needles or destroy my stuff. Like, it was... <laughs> It was for me, it was a significant moment. <laughs> I stitched in the same room with him while he was awake for the first time in two and a half years. <laughs> so one other thing that I thought I might do here, since it seems like it's been a little while since I did this and I did get a few questions over the last several weeks, perhaps it's time for the return of Ask Me Anything. <laughs> Is everybody up for that? Good, cause here we go. <laughs> So I think I'm going to cut this down to just a quick two questions because I feel like I've been sitting here for quite a long time and like, I'm sure a lot of it will be edited out, but I don't know how, how long this is going to be. Like, I'm not, I'm not Noah. I don't know that I can keep your attention for 90 minutes at a time. <laughs> so, so we'll, we'll see. But I'll, I've got a couple of questions here that I think are worth are worth asking and worth answering. So first we've got, allow me to check my notepad. First, I received a question from my old buddy, Jacob, from Modern Folk Embroidery, who asked me, and I quote, what is up with those ginormous scissors? <laughs> what? You mean these babies right here? <laughs> what, what do you mean? What, what's up with my ginormous scissors? These, these puppies right here? You mean what's up with how awesome my humongous scissors are? Is that the question that you're asking right now? <laughs> um, the answer is one of the best pieces of advice that I ever got as a stitcher was get yourself a decent pair of scissors <laughs> because I, I used to use the little tiny scissors that people use or the little clippers or the little like whatever, like do, 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 do. I only need to clip a little thing. I might as well use a little thing. And I, I was always, I don't have good fingers for that kind of stuff. Like I was always fumbling with them and I was always like trying to like clip and pull. And like, it was just, it was just, I couldn't, it was really annoying. So I bought like, not that this is like some kind of like crazy fancy pair of scissors or whatever. Like it's just, they're, they're, they work. <laughs> they're big. They're like, they're big because I keep them beside me and I don't, like in a spot where without having to look at them or even think about it, my hand just naturally falls down onto the scissors and I pick them up super quickly and easily. 
and I don't use them for anything else. These don't get to eat, like you don't get to cut open your cheese in the kitchen or anything like that. Like these are my stitching scissors. When they start to stick or they start to get a little too, like if I have to make even two cuts in a thread, like, oh, they're not sharp enough anymore. Time for a new pair of scissors. Get a good pair of scissors because it's really annoying when you have a pair of scissors that are like dull or small or like, I mean, you, you guys like your small scissors. That's fine. Like do use whatever you like. But I fumble around with shit like that. And these ones I can just grab quickly and snip and pull and it's and it and it's done. So what? What? What do you what do you what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say about my huge scissors? <laughs> it's a big pair of scissors for a big man. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Question the second. <laughs> Did you all see Laura Gurr in her video that she posted a few days ago? <laughs> um, having a lot of questions and a lot of confusion about me and how I like even when I'm stitching confetti or like you know like one stitch at a time and like I, I thread my needle I make one stitch I secure the stitch I cut it off I get rid of my thread like I wind it back up like every every single time and she had a lot of confusion about like why I do that and doesn't that take a long time and isn't there a better way <laughs> so, so here here was her she said she's she said I've got I've got a better way. I've got a more organized way. It's simpler, it's easier. It's and here it's more organized. Here it is. <laughs> I have my needles organizers with uh, threads in it. It doesn't look nice. I know. Sorry. Don't be scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are we looking at here? <laughs> Can we see that again? It doesn't look nice. I know, sorry, don't be scared of it, but it's super convenient, actually. I, I think I'm having chest pains. <laughs> that's, that's more organized. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you say so, hey, if that works for you, if that's organized for you, have at it. But like, it's just, for, for me, a mess like that is, that that's just some kind of a trigger for me. It's not just like threads, it's, tangled cords behind a TV. It's like, it's tangled up like, you know, like what, whatever, like when things are just a mess or like aprons, when I used to work in a bakery and all the aprons would come out of the laundry and they'd all be tied together. Forget it. <laughs> I'm chucking the whole thing in the garbage. I can't handle it. I can't do this. <laughs> so like th that kind of, th that kind of tangled mess is just some kind of a trigger for me that like, it just causes me an unbelievable amount of anxiety. <laughs> so like, even if that is a little bit faster within all that chaos it's not worth it to me i'm glad it works for you <laughs> but i don't find unless like maybe i haven't tried anything else to compare it to but i just i know it sounds like a lot of extra extra work to you make you make one stitch you secure it you cut it you wind your thread back up you get new thread you thread your needle again you make one stitch again you do the whole thing you do that over and over and over yes i do but i don't find that I'm wasting a lot of time doing that. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel like that takes extra time. Um, what does feel like it would take extra time is even like that kind of a thing or like parked threads. People have tried to convince me to at least try parking my threads. And I see people, even in their videos, even when they're trying to explain and it's like say, look at this, isn't this better? Isn't this easier? Isn't this more organized? And I see them, <laughs> okay, here's my next, here's my next color that I need. Then they get up, they get their needle, and it's like, it's this mess of webs. <laughs> and you're like, you're picking at it, and you're trying to separate it, and it's stuck in this one, and it's stuck in that one. And like, you're picking, 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 and you're trying to get them apart, and you still got to thread your needle with it. And I'm just like, you're not, you're not convincing me right now, <laughs> because the amount of time that you're spending picking apart this tangled mess is like, I can, th I can cut a new thread, and I can thread my needle and be going, 10 times faster than you're doing that. <laughs> like, I don't have to, the, 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 it's too much, it's too much. Having said that, <laughs> I will admit that whatever, whatever works for you, I'm not trying to convince, I'm not judging, I'm not trying to convince you that you're doing it wrong and I'm doing it right, or that if you're finding that that's better for you and you're finding that that's faster for you, do it that way, absolutely do it that way. And yes, granted, I've never actually tried it, Maybe if I tried it, maybe I could get past the chaos and it would actually be better and faster. But I cannot get past the chaos. <laughs> Let's look at it again. It doesn't look nice. 
I know, sorry, don't be scared of it, but it's super convenient actually. It's too much for me. I'd rather, I'd rather do it one at a time and not look at that mess. Sorry. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> Did that answer your question? <laughs> How was that? Did you like that? The return of the ask me anything? <laughs> a little brief, little two question tiptoe back into it. If you have more questions, you can send them to me. If you are reminded of why you didn't like that in the first place, then no more questions and we won't do it again. How should we end this? Another ACDC song? Let's try. Ask me anything. Rock and roll. Did I just break that? <laughs> well, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that's all I've got for today. Um, it was good to be back. It was good to talk to you all again. It was good to see everybody. It was good to see Noah again. Go check out all the people that I mentioned. They're all great. Whoever I mentioned, check them all out. Um, what else we got? Good to be here. Good to be alive. Good to be vaccinated. <laughs> Good to like, oh, oh, and, and, um, fuck, I forgot to mention this. <laughs> um, as if you haven't had enough Darcy already. Is it ever enough, really? It's never enough. Uh, this coming Sunday, May 30th, I'm, I, I did the, uh, Sam Bree Stitches interview with a floss tuber with Becca, and that's going to be up on Sunday, the 30th. So look forward to that. Check that out. We had a great, conversation. I was super nervous about it. I almost threw up several times, but once we got going, I mean, maybe I was rambly. Maybe it's not funny. Maybe it's not fun. I have no idea. I, I have no idea how it's going to turn out, but I was afraid I wasn't going to say anything. And I said all the things I was talking about every space. I was talking about <laughs> like movies. I was talking about everything. We talked for like an hour and a half. So look forward to that on Sunday. Um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, assuming I've got enough progress and enough things to talk about to make another video, hopefully only two weeks this time. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Happy stitching. See you now. See you Sunday. See you on Instagram. See you everywhere. Goodbye. Burr, 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 burr.